You were educated as a horticulturalist originally um, and natural scientist and your work focuses on natural processes um, and phenomena and directing viewers' attentions to the diversity of nature. Can you explain a little about your work here for the Dutch Pavilion? My work has much to do with, with, with nature because nature is our uh, primary and basic reality. Uh, and, uh, I like to be basic, and also I like to show this basic sense simple, because it is not made, not necessary for, to communicate the things uh, very well, to do it uh, elaborated. It's, it's always the best to do to this thing simple, as simple as possible. Uh, and sometimes uh, you can see that I have still a scientific attitude, yeah, because I'm documenting. But it has also to do with my origin in the zero movement. Uh, it's um, not doing the thing so much, uh, show the, the, the process happening. And that's uh, my point of depart. Uh, also, zero is a gate. You, you can to always go to the zero point and you have an entrance to the other direction. And you could come back and find the other direction. So I am not catched on one team in my work. Um, I always use the zero gate. Mm -hmm. You've brought a lot of nature inside the gallery. Is that local to Venice, or is it is it bringing a bit of the Netherlands here? Well, I, I bring uh, the, the, the facts from outside in the gallery. That's uh, I think I like it. Uh, a gallery or a museum, you can isolate the things from outside and you bring them in and you can have a, observe them. It is a place for observation, a museum. And uh, uh, therefore it's, it's good to, uh, to bring the things in, uh, in this context so that you can have a closer uh, direct relationship. Uh, uh, I have uh, made a photo series <coughs> All, everything before my feet. I make a sample, like a scientist. <laughs> I may walk 10 meters and I make a photo before my feet. And I, I go on again, make a photo. Yeah. And then you see uh, how much interest there is before your feet. Uh, every, every picture is a picture. And you, you can observe what you forget uh, to look at. You, you never see anymore what is before your feet. And, uh, I think this photo series is uh, to show what is available. Of course, a photo is a photo. It's not a reality. It is second hand. It's the, the photo has a reality as a photo. It's not the same as it observes. But still, you can communicate about it. And then maybe people are more aware when they go back outside and they will look more. Yes. But in the first place, uh, I, I don't, don't use photos, but I show what you see here, uh, uh, real, reality, actuality, things out of the process. Mm -hmm. Where do the flowers come from that you've made the circle? Oh, uh, that's a difficult question. Uh, uh, we bought it from a big herb dealer in, in, in Berlin. Oh. Uh, but uh, it can come from Bulgaria or from Egypt, perhaps from Skoura in Morocco. In Skoura, Morocco, there is a valley on the Sahara side that is living from uh, the harvest of rose flowers. And what about the um, burnt log behind you now? In our village in Germany where I live, mm -hmm. uh, we have every year a summer solstice fire. And this comes from the village of solstice fire. Okay. But there were acacia trees, a tree. Uh, I know where the tree was standing. It was a bit dangerous falling apart. So they took it away and brought it to the fire. And then the so hard wood the fire, it didn't consume the whole wood. And I saw the pieces laying and said, they are beautiful, so we take them with us. Mm -hmm. And you've used that wood to write on the wall? Uh, not with this wood, but I always use uh, for this kind of things, uh, burnt wood, mm -hmm. because it comes out of a process. It has been something, something else, and has become something new. It is a definitive change in the theme of chance and change, it's an important theme in my work, mm -hmm. because uh, uh, in a change situation you have a new point of departure. 
I said, the chance of the chance is the chance of the chance. And the chance of the chance is the chance of the chance. <laughs> Fantastic. Um, I'm about to go to the island on the boat. Yes. What, is, what can I expect there? What, what work is there? Well, you, you can look on the island uh, 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 Vecchio, after a small installation just between the plants and on the, between the, build, on the buildings. There's a, a small uh, text on marble plates. Uh, the text say death was here because uh, thousands of uh, deaths from the clay uh, were brought here and died there. <coughs> uh, and another text says uh, 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 being alive. And another uh, te text says uh, be aware. Mm -hmm. you, uh, <coughs> being aware is, is a thing, an important word for me. Uh, my, my, my teacher, uh, I say something, my guru, <laughs> is a squirrel. A squirrel? A squirrel. A squirrel, when you see the squirrel, he is always awake. He is completely aware of the snake world. He is never without being aware. Mm -hmm. Anyway, else he is the, the prey of the martyr or for the buzzard who flies around in the forest. The, I, I love this little animal who is always complete uh, in his world uh, uh, conscious. The consciousness of a squirrel, why not? Absolutely. <laughs> is, is there anything without consciousness? Mm -hmm. I, I imagine it's not possible. 